muscul musculoskeletal exam includes everything from the back to all of the other um, uh, muscular and skeletal components. Uh, I should mention that the spine in the back is divided into four main areas. The number one is the um, cervical spine, which is the neck. Number two, the T-spine or thoracic spine. Third is the uh, L-spine or lumbar spine. And the final portion is the sacrum. Uh, the, otherwise, the big important structures that you'll be hearing about are from clavicles to shoulder, scapula behind, and then the arms with the humerus, the elbow, the forearm, which has the radius and ulna, the wrist, which has the metacarpals in it, the hands have the um, carpal bones, and then the phalanges. The phalanges are the bones of the fingers, and there's three per finger, two and a thumb. You will have descriptions of the joints. They could be swollen, red, hot. There could be deformities and trauma. You could have fractures which are open or closed. Open means there's a break in the skin. And so you may get some details um, that way. In the legs, we start with the pelvic girdle up here. And then you run down your femur, um, the hips. You have the greater trochanter. You may hear a description of tenderness over the trochanter. There are bursi overlying many of these joints, so you may hear things like trochanteric bursitis um, or bursitis over some other joint. The knees have the patella in front, the four legs, two bones. Um, the main weight-bearing bone is the tibia. The fibula is on the outside and is non-weight-bearing. And then similar to the wrists and the hands, this is called the, at the ankle, you have the metatarsals, those are metacarpals, these are metatarsals, and then in the feet, you have the tarsal bones, but it's phalanges again for the toes, and just like the hands, it's three per toe, but two for the big toe.